Well, the fight for higher minimum wage hits Central Florida. Protesters taking to the streets right now, calling for 15 bucks an hour. Here's some video of them marching down I Drive, blocking traffic. This happened just minutes ago. News 6 reporter Nadine Yanis spoke to the people on the picket line, as well as an economist, about this entire debate. So, Nadine, what's going on out there right now? It's actually pretty active here. The protesters have actually walked around the corner here on South Lake, and have, they're right now in front of the McDonald's. But just a few minutes ago, you saw that video. They shut down I Drive and take a look at the traffic, completely causing some backups here, obviously on I Drive. But these workers are on a fight for 15. They were wanting $15 an hour minimum wage. Today, I spoke to a UF, UCF economist, and he says, though he thinks the intentions are good here, it actually could do more harm than good for Central Florida. The protest started before sunrise. Why do we want it? 15. Why do we want it? Now. And continued all day to before sunset, all in the fight for 15. It's about that time that we uh, be respected on our jobs. This is part of a national day of action. Where workers from home care workers, fast food workers, nursing home workers, um, and child care workers are coming together to make a call for 15. Kimberly White gets paid $9.94 an hour as a certified nursing assistant for the Consulate Health System and is one of hundreds on strike today. To me, it's the most disrespectful thing I could think of. I mean, it, it shows me that my full time dedication, my loyalty, uh, coming to this building day after day is not needed, nor is it appreciated. UCF economist and professor Sean Snaith sees where these workers, like White, are struggling, but says the jump to $15 an hour could actually backfire on Florida's economy. All these companies, large and small, if, if this change is enacted, uh, you know, they will respond to the change in prices. They will do things differently. They will try to move away from uh, using as much low-skilled labor at this higher price. It could cause uh, job loss. It could cause low-skilled workers to be replaced by uh, automated methods. Uh, I think it could ultimately hurt the economy. That yeah, and this economist says that it could actually hurt us as the consumer as well because these businesses would have to cut costs somewhere else. We're going to talk more about that, especially how it could affect tourism here in Florida, but still an active scene. Take a look at how heavy of a police presence is out here on I Drive after this protest. We'll have the latest for you tonight at 7. Matt. All right, Nadine Giannis live for us. Thank you.